Hello, and welcome to Thoroughgood's video series, Powerful Pairings, Tableau, and Terrain Data. In this video, I will be sharing some tools you can use to monitor and optimize performance of your Tableau and Terrain Data solution. My name is Laura Haas, and you can contact me using the information provided below. For more information about Thoroughgood, please visit our website. I will first share what tools are available in Teradata and Tableau to monitor performance, then demo how you can use the Tableau Performance Recorder and Teradata Database Query Logging to analyze and optimize the performance of your solution. This is the third video in our series, but you can watch the other videos using the links below. I'm going to highlight key tools that are available within Tableau and Teradata that can be used to help you continuously and effectively monitor your solution's performance. This is crucial to all Teradata and Tableau solutions because by monitoring performance, you are able to identify areas of improvement and make the necessary adjustments to your solution in order to achieve optimal solution performance for your user community. The architecture we've referenced throughout the video series is a Teradata database feeding into Tableau Desktop where users create dashboards, and then dashboards are published to Tableau Server. Keep in mind, Teradata is still the underlying data source to dashboards in Tableau Server. There are multiple tools available to be able to monitor and optimize the performance of each of these. First, Teradata Database Query Logging, or DBQL, is used to analyze queries fired from Tableau to Teradata. For Tableau, there are two main tools available. First, the Tableau Performance Recorder captures the timings of queries fired from Tableau Desktop and Server. Second, there's Tableau Postgres, which is used to track the usage and load balance on Tableau Server. Since we are more interested in tuning our dashboards and underlying data sources, we are only going to focus on Teradata DBQL and Tableau Performance Recorder in this video. If you have any questions about Tableau Postgres, please don't hesitate to reach out. The other thing to note is that each of these tools can help meet different users' needs in your organization. If business users are experiencing slow performance with their dashboards, power users can turn on the performance recorder, make the selections where they're experiencing slow performance, and pinpoint areas that are performing slower than they'd expect. At the same time, IT and database administrators can monitor and analyze queries being fired to Teradata to identify bottlenecks and understand high usage times. Keep in mind, IT can also use the Tableau Performance Recorder as long as they understand how the business users are interacting with their dashboards. Let's first take a closer look at the Tableau Performance Recorder. This tool is used to monitor Tableau dashboard performance. Tableau Performance Recorder is available in server and desktop. For the purpose of the demo, we're going to look at the Performance Recorder in Tableau Desktop. Users can simply turn on the Performance Recorder on a workbook, interact with their dashboard, and then turn off the Performance Recorder. Once a user stops the Performance Recorder, a Tableau workbook is generated with some key performance metrics. The view you're seeing here is the automatically generated Tableau dashboard by using the Tableau Performance Recorder. To help identify bottlenecks, the Performance Recorder will show events that contribute significantly to the overall dashboard response time and even provide a view of the individual database queries that are causing lags, such that further investigation can be conducted. You can take the data captured by the Performance Recorder and create some custom visualizations and dashboards. If we flip over to a more custom view, you can see I've created a tree map to identify my worksheets that have the maximum query execution time and colored it by the count of queries fired. I've also created a bubble chart that shows the distribution of execution times by event. This is a user-friendly tool my power users can leverage to help identify problem areas and share information they find with IT so they can work to optimize performance. For example, I noticed that my sales amount by business type takes up a large portion of the tree map and is a pretty dark color. So by selecting that square, I can see the distribution of my query execution time update accordingly. I noticed that there's a query that's taking about four seconds, which is a little longer than I would hope. 
So by clicking on that, I can see the query that's generated by Tableau back to Teradata. Now, as a business user or a power user, I may not know how to decipher what's in this query, but I can take a look and send it back to IT so they can analyze and understand what is causing the performance issue that's caused by this query. With that, let's take a closer look at the database query logging in Teradata. DBQL is a tool used to monitor Teradata database usage. Teradata provides a set of predefined tables that store all of the queries that are fired along with other valuable pieces of information about these queries, such as duration and other performance metrics. You even have the ability to create logs for a particular user, collection of users, or a list of activities to further target your investigation of performance issues. To demonstrate the type of information that the DBQL provides us, we've created a custom Tableau dashboard on top of this data to more easily monitor Teradata performance and spot trends or areas to investigate. At the top, you can quickly spot times of the day that have high query volumes, with the highest volumes in the darkest blue. By making a selection on one of these boxes, for example, 10 a.m., my dashboard updates and I can quickly start to identify areas that might be problematic. This dashboard also allows me the ability to monitor specific performance metrics, such as spool space, I.O. count, and AMP CPU time, just to highlight the breadth of valuable metrics available within DBQL. We also have the ability to see if the queries are being generated in Tableau Desktop or Server. And similar to Tableau Performance Recorder, we can drill into individual queries. The distinction between Tableau Desktop and Tableau Server is important because it allows me to identify where I may be having productionized solution issues in Tableau Server versus queries that are just inefficiently being generated in Tableau Desktop as my users are developing and doing some ad hoc analysis. I can also use the filters along the right to further analyze my data, such as changing the date range, choosing a different Tableau application, or looking at a specific user in my organization. Keep in mind, unlike the Tableau Performance Recorder, this dashboard is not available in an out-of-the-box option. This is just a possible way for IT to use visual analytics to monitor the queries fired to Teradata and work with the business users to optimize performance. If you're interested to learn a bit more about this dashboard or need help analyzing DBQL, please feel free to reach out. As I mentioned before, we aren't going to cover Tableau Postgres in very much detail. However, I did want to highlight that once you optimize performance of your dashboards and data sources, using Postgres, you can monitor and optimize Tableau Server to provide users the most performant end-to-end -end solution. Utilizing these tools together will help to ensure that you are considering your entire solution in your performance assessment and are focusing on the correct areas for performance improvements. These tools help you to the respective bottlenecks and areas needing improvement across Teradata, Tableau Desktop, and Tableau Server. Taking advantage of these tools will help you to make the most of your investment in your solution by ensuring that any issues are addressed so that solutions continue to perform well, providing your community with the best possible user experience. Please check out the other videos in this series by using the links in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me using the contact information provided here. I hope you found the content of this video useful. Thank you for watching.